Hey folks, Bill Gallagher here for Daily DNT. Uh, this week of Daily DNT is brought to you by Maximilian S. And we're going to be playing Blue White Taxes. Uh, so I played a Blue White Taxes, I think it was two weeks ago for you all now. Um, and XJ Cloud ended up with a different take on Blue White Taxes. His version also plays Meddling Mage and Spell Queller, but he has Unsettled Mariners, Vencers, and a Brazen Borrower in the main deck, as well as Force of Wills, which I did not have. His sideboard has the Deputy of Detentions and Lavinias that I had, but he also adds Force of Negations. He's taken a slightly different approach to the deck building than what I did. So, whereas I went a bunch of basic lands and I had uh, something on the order of four or five planes, he has four Tundras and a Hollowed Fountain, additionally, as another fetchable dual land. His mana base plays both Ports and Wastes, but it chooses to trim one of each of them. And he's only running 23 lands, where I think I ran 24. So I had four Wastelands, no ports. So I had four colorless sources, he has six colorless sources. But he's compensating for that by playing that Hollowed Fountain, which makes it so that like when he hits a land, it is more likely a dual land most of the time. So both of us are working more towards being able to cast these cards on turn two, I've just gone harder down that road than he did with my previous build. Um, oh, there's also a Vendillion click in the main deck that I that I missed talking about. Uh, so essentially, the reason to try something out like this is so that you can have more highly impactful 2-drops versus Breach. Phyrexian Revoker is fine versus Breach in that it stops Lion's Eye Diamond, but they can still technically combo off with the Lotus Petal through Revoker on LED. So it's not like it's a be-all, end-all, like this stops them from going off card. Whereas Meddling Mage on Underworld Breach stops many builds from going off, and it makes it so that the other builds have to intuition for like Breach and Savine's Reclamation to try to go off that way. Uh, so it makes them jump through a whole lot of hoops to go off. So this version should be incredibly powerful versus combo, but you lose a bit versus the fair stuff. So for example, there's... Only three Swords of Plowshares, three Moms, one Jitte, no Stone Forges in the main deck. Those are in the sideboard. Uh, so the mana base of this deck list might be eh, uh, but we'll see kind of how it goes in matches. And we got a spicy Peacekeeper in the sideboard, which uh, should be some fun too. All right, let's check out the matches.